Introduction A journey of a thousand miles involves many small steps. I love starting and managing businesses because it involves a framework and a system that begins to work automatically while I reap incremental rewards as time goes on. Earlier in my life, I was told that businesses were bad, and I was completely discouraged from taking that risk and starting my own business. I knew having a business was going to change my life for the better, but I was surrounded by negative opinions that demotivated me from doing so. I mean, it is natural after all. Even you would be discouraged if you had people telling you that it wasn't going to work. But deep down inside, you want so badly for it to work. Building a successful and profitable business is all about building a robust system and infrastructure for it to grow and do its thing. This involves having systematic procedures in place, such as your operations, marketing, sales, finance, human resource management, etc., to assist you with day-to-day -day tasks and to fulfill your clients' needs. The goal of owning a successful multi-million dollar business is a long shot, but if you break it down and develop systems, it makes it easier to work toward, and you will soon hit that goal of creating a successful business. This is why I own a few successful businesses today, because I understand the system and infrastructure of a company and how it naturally affects the success of the business in the market. One of these successful businesses is my trucking business, which is the subject of this book. I wanted to stress again upon the importance of systems and infrastructure because that is how the trucking business works. You develop systems to guide trucks to transport goods from one place to another, and you rely on the infrastructure set by your business and also the country you are operating in, for example, the roads. Transportation of goods and services has always been one of the main boosters of a country's economy. Every country relies on its logistics to ensure parties conduct their business seamlessly and improve its economy. The modes of transport support it. You have planes delivering goods, ships delivering more goods, and the railways doing their part in delivering goods in bulk as well. But the most used and active mode of transport that contributes to much of the economy's boost are the roads, and yes, you guessed it, trucks are the ones doing their part. This is why trucking has become something that interested me, because it contributes to the economic growth of a country, and I wanted to be part of that contribution. I never thought twice about starting a trucking business because of the value it can provide to other businesses by transporting goods from one location to another over and over again. Eventually, I was able to create a trucking business empire, and I wanted to share with you how simple it can be to start and manage one if you have a system in place. Every business is a challenge, but a positive one. I know it sounds intimidating to say to someone that you want to start a trucking business. In their heads, they may think it's somewhat of an impossible task to do, and that you would need someone who is an expert in running a business. Let me tell you that you need to start a business, first and foremost, in order to become an expert in it. And second, the trucking business can be a cutthroat business yet there are many companies thriving in this world. Don't you want to join them as one of those successful trucking companies? I am sure you do. I won't deny that there are some challenges to being part of a trucking business. There is the challenge of increasing competition in the industry due to its lower barrier to entry. The challenge of rising fuel costs can have an effect on your operating costs each year. The impact of combustion fuel and what it can do to the environment is a concern. Hence, manufacturers are doing their best to produce electric trucks that will probably take over in the future, but not too soon. Moreover, you will be concerned about hiring the right truck drivers and whether or not you lack the technology to manage this type of business. These concerns can raise doubts about whether your business will be profitable or not. But let me tell you that the trucking industry is lucrative and there is plenty of money to be made in it, despite the increasing competition because there is so much demand for logistical services. Therefore, you have nothing to worry about, and as long as you follow a systematic approach and have a structured plan for how you will conduct and manage your trucking business operations, you will soon see success in it. 
This book is all about diving deep into this business and exploring why it is the right industry for you to pursue your business venture, how you can prepare a foolproof plan that will help you succeed later on, steps for starting a trucking business legally, and all the different operations and procedures behind managing your trucking company. If you are reading this and already looking forward to it, then you are in for an exciting adventure toward gaining the most important and relevant knowledge on trucking. You might be a truck driver who is looking to transition to becoming an owner-operator, or you might be an owner-operator who is looking to manage your business better, or you might be an aspiring entrepreneur who is looking to get into this fascinating industry. This book is for anyone who wants to start a business in this industry, even if you don't have prior knowledge. This will be your beginner's guide to learning the fundamentals of the trucking business in a linear and simplistic way. After reading this book, you will find it easier and less intimidating to start your trucking business empire because you will know what steps you will need to take and have everything ticked off on your trucking business startup checklist. You are reading this because, most probably, you are already an operator who is interested in transitioning to being an entrepreneur in the trucking industry. Or you are someone who is simply fascinated and wants to learn more about this industry in order to start a business. Starting any business and managing it has two major challenges. One is beating the procrastination to convert your idea into reality. The second is maintaining a standard and scaling your business so that it adapts to any market changes and you can stay in the game for decades and decades. To be an entrepreneur, you need to be ready to take risks and adopt a growth mindset where you are ready to learn, learn, and learn some more about all the aspects of your entrepreneurial journey. This knowledge will get you ready to overcome any obstacles alongside your team. If you do this, you are bound to succeed in any business, not just the trucking business. So, without any further ado, let's get started, and I wish you a pleasant read. Chapter 1. Why the Trucking Business Business opportunities are like buses. There's always another one coming. Richard Branson Let's start off the first chapter by diving a bit deeper into the trucking industry. You want to make sure you know what you're getting into to support your decision and interest in starting a business in the trucking industry. We will explore the industry outlook of trucking in general and go through a few benefits of why you might be right to pursue a business venture in this industry. Let's dive in. What is a trucking business? An industry overview. Without a doubt, trucking is one of the most crucial industries in the world. It provides tremendous value to other companies and consumers by transporting goods with ease from one location to another. Most of these goods include lightweight, fast-moving consumable goods, heavy materials, highly flammable products, and liquids. Truck drivers play a vital role in ensuring they deliver these goods from one place to another, and they are one of the most important reasons why the supply chain functions smoothly. They go through challenges such as driving long distances, for long hours, and at times carrying dangerous materials in their heavy motor vehicles. They are our saviors, and in the trucking industry, it is essential to treat your drivers with respect and ensure their needs are met to enhance their productivity and their work safety. To get a better idea of how important this industry is when it comes to the economy of a country, let's look at real-life statistics of the United States, for example. In 2017, the U.S. trucking industry generated revenue that was worth more than the gross domestic product, GDP, of at least 150 countries combined. Around 10.8 billion tons of freight, goods that were transported in bulk, were successfully transported with trucks in the same year. It is a no-brainer that this industry is easily worth billions. The trucking industry is a service-based business where there can be one owner who owns a truck or a company that owns and operates thousands of trucks. Everything that we consume in our day-to-day -day lives is at our fingertips because of the trucking industry. They transport all the raw materials and finished goods from the factory to the retail stores with efficiency. 
Even the products you purchase from e-commerce websites reach you because trucking played a part in transporting products from one party to the other in the supply chain. For example, when a consumer places an order, the shipping company, who owns the goods, will start packaging the goods and get them ready to be shipped to the consumers. To connect with transport carriers, in this situation they are trucks, freight brokers act as the link between shippers and trucking carriers. Freight trucks then will transport the goods on behalf of the shippers to the consumers. Trucks are also used for other purposes above and beyond just transporting goods from manufacturers to wholesalers or consumers. For instance, you have large trucks being utilized in construction, especially concrete trucks that mix concrete and other trucks that dump debris, dirt, etc. Trucks dominate the transportation system on the road, and the driver's work ethic plays a major role in ensuring the uninterrupted flow of goods from one location to another. Truck drivers can start out in this industry by initially earning a commercial driver's license, or CDL in short. Adhering to the standards of being a driver of CMVs, or commercial motor vehicles, is crucial, especially when it comes to the hours of service, which are regulated by governing bodies. The types of vehicles utilized in the trucking industry include tractors, flatbeds, reefers, bobtails, dry vans, and hotshots. Market Trends That Make the Trucking Business Favorable let us go further into the trucking industry by gaining an understanding of the market trends, characteristics, and challenges one can face when running a trucking company. Upgrade in Technology In the past few years, there have been massive changes in the industry, especially when it comes to technology. Technology plays a vital role in trucking companies as it helps improve their workflow and manage orders successfully. Many companies have started to implement multiple software programs to make their operations run as smoothly as possible. Implementing software has become their primary objective in order to streamline their process and manage multiple orders. Even trucks these days are equipped with smart technology to monitor and enhance their functionality. Rise of e-commerce Additionally, we have seen the significant growth of the e-commerce industry and people are more inclined towards shopping online rather than going to stores. As a result, this has spurred growth for e-commerce stores to source products and deliver goods to their customers. Regardless of the business being conducted online, it is important to understand that most of these products won't reach the customers without the assistance of the trucking industry. Hence, e-commerce has influenced growth in the trucking industry by providing them with more orders to manage and transport. And with how the e-commerce industry is going, there is no denying that this industry will keep growing, and this ultimately means the same for the trucking industry. Infrastructure Development In the trucking industry, the infrastructure of a country plays a huge role in its economic development. Better roads means better conditions for trucks to transport goods easily and ensure seamless flow in business operations. Urbanization has become a vital boost in recent years, with rural areas being transformed into a more urbanized outlook. This makes it convenient for trucks to travel through the country, and poor roads won't necessarily hinder their goal of delivering goods safely and on time. With most rural areas now looking to urbanize their landscapes, this makes them more accessible for trucks to transport goods, and it is easier for businesses to expand their operations and reach out to many more clients as well. Rise of Data-Driven Supply Chains On top of all the technological advancement and infrastructure development, data analytics also play a vital role in the modern-day trucking business. In most industries, data analytics is already making a big impact on the strategic decisions of many companies, as it provides valuable insights for companies to evolve in the market. In this situation, Analytics involve monitoring truck routes and also displaying other information to make trucking operations more smooth and efficient wherever possible. Moreover, data is a valuable insight that companies cherish because, with it, they can make further developments to areas they have room for improvement and become a better trucking business. Challenges you need to know about when you're in the trucking business. 
On top of opportunities or market trends that could be taken advantage of, there are also some challenges that truck business owners should be aware of no matter the degree of success they have in their business. These challenges are part of the market and should be acknowledged and kept in the back of your mind when you're getting into the trucking business. High Turnover in Truck Drivers In the trucking industry, truck driving is seen as one of the most vital human resource assets and yet one of the most volatile of all jobs. If you ask a truck driver, chances are that they will have worked with two or three companies in the past year. There is definitely high turnover in this industry, and with the availability of truck drivers everywhere, it makes it easier for companies to be trigger-happy and replace drivers when they make even one mistake on the job. Moreover, despite the rise in demand for truck drivers, there are also cases where many trucking businesses end up being unable to adapt to adverse market conditions and ultimately failed. As a result, this leads to truck drivers becoming unemployed. Another major reason for turnover could be that there are fewer goods being moved in some locations, and this can cause truck drivers and trucking companies as a whole to lose a lot of business. Even though, from a general perspective, the industry looks healthy, it should be obvious that some locations will host such challenges. There are also external factors, such as the recent pandemic, which can delay or even halt operations and also push truck drivers out of employment. Mergers as an alternative route As we've combated more adverse market conditions in the past few years, there has also been a higher number of mergers, where two existing companies unite to form a new company, happening with trucking companies, and this trend may be repeated in the years to come. The most notable merger in the trucking industry as of this writing is Knight Swift. The purpose of mergers in the first place is for trucking companies to pool their resources together so they can fight against unfavorable market conditions. In the case of mergers, some companies may end up dominating the deal and acquiring the other regarding their industry expertise, market share value, and also the number of resources they have to leverage in the industry. Despite it being seen as a challenge for trucking companies and other competitors, Mergers do help trucking companies to stay relevant in the market during the toughest of times. Combating Price Cuts Despite the high demand in the industry, the pricing set by many trucking companies is low, and this affects the trucker's average salary each year. As a result, this leaves them short on jobs and can also cause a decline for trucking companies. This change has led to a shift in production locations for some trucking businesses over the past few years. Many trucking businesses are now looking for new locations where they can conduct their business with ease and also at a lower cost. It is always best to look at the value your trucking company can offer and raise the price whenever you feel your trucking operations will provide the best services to your clients. As a result, you will get paid better, and your employees will get paid better too. Rise in Operation Costs Trucking can also have high operational costs behind it that can keep increasing over the years. One major expense is fuel. There is no denying that fuel costs keep rising each year, as it is a limited resource after all. This affects trucking businesses significantly in regard to their operating expenses. Most companies try to combat the increasing fuel costs year after year, but it is quite difficult to figure out a solution to it. One way is to look for alternatives, such as electric trucks, to replace fuel so companies can save a lot on their day-to-day -day costs. At any rate, if you're getting into the trucking business, the operating expenses is a key area to keep your eyes on, and most noticeably, the fuel costs will keep rising each year. Benefits of pursuing a trucking business venture. When looking at the advantages of being in the trucking business, you have to first think from the client's perspective. Imagine the benefits and value you can provide to them when you are in the trucking business. This could change your mindset immediately about the demand opportunities of this industry. Hence, it is crucial to understand the major benefits trucking can offer to your customers if you were to start a trucking business in the future. Working with a range of services. First and foremost, companies look for people who are experts in what they do. Most businesses don't have specialized logistics departments and they would rather be better off hiring external parties who are professionals. In this case, trucking companies that can offer a range of logistical services, such as delivering goods on the same day or the next day, would be favored. Other services include full truckload, FTL, and less than truckload, 
LTL, freight options, flatbed trucking, and even storage and warehousing services. Offering a wide range of services makes you a valuable asset in the industry, and this can automatically land you clients who want their logistical needs satisfied. Moreover, offering more than just one service is a good way to boost your clients' satisfaction and retain them for years. As building relationships is key in this business, you will need to earn their trust as well. So having that ability to reach out to them and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation can help you earn that trust and build rapport with your client. Especially since you will be starting out as a small trucking business, relationship building at such early stages will help you see favorable results in the long run. Cost savings. Your services also mean that you can help companies to reduce costs in logistics. There's no doubt that there would be a lot of costs and resources invested if companies were to organize the entire shipment and logistical part all by themselves. This is where a trucking company, as a carrier, would help to save on logistical costs. Trucking companies have their own fleet, drivers, etc. to assist the shipping company and these companies will look to work with truckers who can provide better cost savings. Eventually, they will end up contacting you to help them save money and deliver goods from one place to another. You are providing them value by reducing their costs and also, at the same time, it benefits your business by being able to work with these companies and increase your revenue.